Hey guys, good evening. It is Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm gonna make a breakfast skillet. Hi, Sid. Anyways, I'm gonna make a breakfast skillet in my little eight inch cast iron. And I have cut up some of like Eckerd sausage into little cubes. I have about a quarter of a medium sized yellow onion. I have some green bell pepper and I have six eggs. I'm gonna use some provolone cheese. These are slices, but I'm just gonna chop them up. Uh, one of the girls at the office doesn't eat yellow cheese. So we're gonna use the provolone instead of mozzarella. I just, I, I have it, I haven't used it. I think it would be good in here. So that's what we're gonna use. But I'm just gonna start um, sauteing the veggies, get the meat in there and see if we can fit all six eggs in this thing. So I'm not sure. It's gonna be a test. We're mad scientists in the kitchen here today again. So anyways, if you're new here, my name is Tony, and I'm on the ketogenic lifestyle. I lost 70 pounds on keto while you're here. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you know when I upload a new video and do the thumbs up and all the things YouTube. So anyways, that said, I do cook meal prep for all the girls in my office. So there's four of us in the office and then my daughter. Um, she's also on keto now and she's lost 10 pounds, I think, in the last two weeks. Um, so everybody's doing good. My brother in Seattle and sister-in-law are on keto also, and he's lost 14 pounds, so everybody's doing good. Myself, I've been on a stall for a minute, so it is what it is. I have thyroid issues, so that is how that happens. So we're just gonna start sauteing down these veggies, and then we're gonna get this little breakfast bake in the oven and let it cook in the oven. I'll let you know exactly how long it takes when I pull it out, because I'm gonna test it a few times, but so we're gonna kind of par cook it on top of the stove, see how much we can fit. I wanted to put some spinach in it too because I have a big thing of spinach, but I'm pushing my luck already. I know it doesn't take a much room once it wilts down, but I have the bell pepper, so I have some green onions I really wanted to use too. So we'll see how it all works out. I'm just, you know those, I like that green onion flavor in eggs. I don't know why, it's just delicious. Any hoosers. Okay, so we're gonna get this breakfast bake in and then we're gonna get on with a cheesy cauliflower. I may do a cauliflower stir fry with some beef. I have a piece of beef meat. This thing creeper. He's walking back and forth. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get that meat. It's sawing in the sink. I'll cut it up. I have a head of cauliflower. We're gonna do that in the ninja foodie. We're gonna add some different red, orange, some bell pepper, some onions. We're gonna do all the things. And then we're gonna make it like a cheesy casserole or I may go Asian and go stir fry. I'm just gonna see how this meat works out. So that's like how much it makes once I cut it up into pieces. So that's gonna make or break, which well, it's gonna make the decision for us if we decide to do the cheesy because I've been dying to use this, but I don't have any broccoli. This is a Campbell's oven sauce. If you watch my grocery haul, I talked about it. It's the ingredients are not horrible. Now, it's not strict keto, it is lazy keto. So if you're strict keto, this might not be for you. If so, just don't buy it. Anyways, but this is a bake mix, a bake sauce that you just put like um, broccoli and chicken in a, like a glass cake pan and you just pour this over and put it in the oven, bake it. Meal, done. So I may save it for broccoli because I really have been jonesing some broccoli with cheese sauce. That would be awesome. I don't know, so I may go Asian. You know how? I'm just a mad scientist. We just work it out as our nose knows. So I'm gonna start sauteing up these veggies and we're gonna get this going. So I did heat up a few links of that sausage for Shelly and Sid for lunch tomorrow. So I did just go ahead and cube some up to use for this application. Where's my scooper? My veggie scooper. I guess these are my veggie scoopers today. I have one of those little things you use to scoop up the veggies but it seems to have grown some legs and left the premises. So here is the little skillet. I have it preheating here. We'll start with our onion. It's already a little bit warm, so it won't be too... Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, I just poured onion. That's why I need my scooper. On the underneath of my burner. Oh, that's great. That's gonna be fun to clean up later. I love this little skillet, but I think we might be too small. I might have to go up a size because I have two other cast irons. So this already looks a little crowded. So yeah, let's change the plan. Let's get out our bigger skillet. All right, guys, take two. 
All right, see, I've got my little bit bigger skillet here, and I did start this other skillet out with some Perry's Gold, and I have let it melt under my cabinet lights, so we're gonna work with it. Oh yeah, that's all crazy. What kind of angle is that, Tony? So we're gonna get some butter in the bigger skillet. Just the rest of this little. I like that I found Carrie's Gold in sticks now, like instead of the big wide, but I do have, I did get a butter dish, which I'm super excited about. And it's kind of melty because I've had it out for a minute, but it actually fits a Carrie's Gold butter block, which is awesome. Because you know how you want to take it out so it can kind of come to room temperature a little bit so you can use some and then you, it like melts the whole block and then you're trying to fold back the foil. It's, it's this is a lot easier. Okay, so we got some butter in here. We'll get a little bit of olive oil. And then I'll use my oven mitt. So I have this kind of on medium high so it can heat up quicker. So I'm just gonna let that warm up. And we'll just take our other skillet <laughs> and we'll get these veggies in there. Okay, I'm just gonna set this back here on top of this big skillet I'm gonna I was gonna use if I do a stir fry, so have that sitting back there waiting grabbed it out of my pan cabinet I decided that's what I want for my birthday this year new pots and pans who wants that for their 50th birthday this girl all right I think we know we're gonna fit all these eggs in here we could probably add the spinach now and maybe a little more two more eggs plenty of room now all right so I'm just gonna let these sweat down a little bit because I want to get a little color on this meat too but I don't want to burn these veggies so I'm gonna go ahead and get this chopped up link of Eckerd sausage and get this all happy I don't usually cook them breakfast but just have some veggies I wanted to use up so that's kind of spawned a breakfast dish so and then we got some cauliflower we need to use so that spawned a cauliflower dish so you know you just use what you have on hand and you make it work all right guys so I'm gonna just let this get kind of browned up and delicious you don't need to see that whole process I might beat another two eggs up in here not sure anyway I'm gonna cut up this cheese and we're gonna have the breakfast bake going in the oven I have my oven preheated to 350 I like to cook my eggs at a little lower temperature so they kind of cook all the way through and don't brown too much on the top or turn rubbery so that's what we got going on. Put some salt and pepper in here and then got things going. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and add a handful of spinach because there's a little bit extra, um, you know, like the oil and the butter and stuff. We'll let this soak up some of that. Of course, it's gonna go down to nearly nothing. I might add another handful, but this is looking delicious. Yes, I am warming up tortillas on this burner. On this comal, these are for Sid's lunch, not for our breakfast. So, just gonna get these in there and get this all cooked down. Then we'll add our eggs and our cheese, which I have cubed up now. And uh, I'm excited. I wish I would have brought home some mushrooms. I left them at the office refrigerator because some mushrooms would be fabulous in here. Right, Christina? All right, so here's our little breakfast veggie blend. We're gonna get our, our eggs in here and get them started. This is all just gonna cook down a lot more. That's just some baby spinach. Okay, so let's get our eggs in the party. This is where we're gonna see if we should add more eggs and I don't think so. I think this is pretty perfect. It's gonna rise up. I did add water to my eggs. I always scramble my eggs with some water. Um, it makes them a lot fluffier. Like I said, we're just gonna par cook this um, and then we're gonna let it finish in the oven. So this is going to be fabulous. Let's go ahead and throw our cheese in here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for breakfast. This is gonna be absolutely fabulous. I'll cut Shelly a slice for her to take with her in the morning. That's my daughter. She's staying with us for a brief moment while her new place is getting fixed up. So, good things are happening. She's got a new car. She's working at a division of the company I work for. Not, I work for the management side. She's working with the construction side. So she's doing really good with that. 
her car got a brand new car. Babe, how long has she had the car? Like two weeks? Yeah, she had about two or three weeks and got a nail or some kind of screw, but she does work in the construction side, like I said, so there are lots of nails and screws around. So fortunately she got the coverage that replaces the tires in the event you get a nail or a screw. So I'm gonna finish these up here. Let me get my red tie. Keep, keep our tortillas fresh, even though they're not keto tortillas, so. Mm. All right, let's just move our eggs around again. Like I said, we're not trying to cook them all the way, but we we don't want to brown them too much or cook them too much. We still want them to be tender. So our cheese is melting. Gosh, guys, this is fabulous. Now, I would put some cheddar on top of this bad boy if I didn't have a crybaby at the office. So yes, that would be you, Christina. So... We got these cooked, they're just about kind of a soft scramble, like a runny scramble. And we're gonna go ahead and put some of our provolone right on the top of this. And we're gonna throw this in our oven. Like I said, I have it at 350 degrees. Um, you know me, I'm gonna have to add some green on top of here, so I might chop up some green onions real quick. I'm gonna get this burner off. I don't wanna cook these eggs no more. So I'm gonna let this cook and be delicious. I'm gonna throw some probably some chopped green onions or maybe some fresh parsley on top. You know what? We have fresh parsley. Let's do that. That would be awesome. Let me go grab it. All right, guys, I've chopped me up some fresh parsley here. And you know, it just wouldn't be me if it didn't have color to it, so. And throw some little slices of grape tomatoes on here would be good. Make that pop a red or some red bell pepper. But we're going to go with this. We are going to get these off of here. Okay. So that's done. This is going in the oven. I'm going to go clean up the chaos that I've made with making this. I'll let you know when it's done how long it was in there. So I'm going to time this 10 minutes at a time. Okay, so it's out of the oven 15 minutes. Pretty good, it's act exactly perfectly cooked. Because we're gonna microwave it in the morning, I'd like to leave it just a little more tender than I wanna eat it so that it doesn't turn to rubber. So, when I cook, I turn this kitchen to a hot mess. So look, see that? Look at all that. Mm -hmm. So we've broken down our cauliflower. We chopped up a red and a green bell pepper. I have about the other the rest of that onion that I used for the breakfast. Um, we are going to use some of the baby spinach. Like, hey, let's just knock it out of the park. And then we're going to do this all in the ninja foodie. So this should be yummy, delicious. And my battery's dying. And I, my memory card was full. So you know what? Why not? Bring it on, YouTube. Bring it on. Anyways, I, hey. Okay, I had some battery issues, had some memory card issues, but we are back. And I have riced the cauliflower. Yeah, I know. Cut it up. Um, my daughter trumped my decision for bite size and went rice cauliflower. So if you don't like it, please reference her. I'll link her Facebook down below and Instagram <coughs> and Snapchat. <coughs> All the things. Yeah, I'm dying. It's okay. Just kidding. Anyways, I'm going to use my Ninja Foodie. So here we go. Ninja Foodie. This is not stable. I hear you. Let me find out. <laughs> Alright, so I am putting my Ninja Foodie if you don't have one, get one. They're awesome, and you can air fry and all the things. Okay, so I have it on high sear saute, and I'm turning it on because I do that multiple times where I don't turn it on. And so we're gonna get some olive oil in here, and get it all warmed up and delicious. And I know they say leave it in the green bottle, but I'm sorry, I like my little thingy. And it's never been rancid, and I've never had a problem, so I'm not going to fix what's not broken. Sorry, not sorry. All right, so I have, like I said, I have my onion, my bell peppers. I'm going to go ahead and throw some spinach in here just so we can use it. 
and uh, we're gonna get things going. It smells, hmm, smell, mm-hmm, that's, yeah, garlic. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna get some soy sauce, um, or no, some coconut aminos and some sesame oil and some of those things. I put the sesame oil at the end because I feel like it cooks off. So let me go get my Asian flavors and we'll get to going. Okay, we have our oil, our olive oil heated up and it doesn't have a high smoke point so we know we wanna cool it down with some onions and some bell peppers. And I cut these, I julienne them a little, like not super thin, but I julienne them and then I cut them in to, quor to quarters the length of the pepper. So I'll get my red bell pepper with you, humongous. So we're gonna have all this in here. And I'm about to chop up my steak and then that's gonna go in there, but the, and the garlic will go in last. So I get the steak chopped up. I'm gonna just little, kind of keep stirring these around and we wanna use silicone when our we're using our inner pot of our foodie because this thing, if you scratch it, you need a new one. So it is not forgiving when it comes to scratches. All right, I'll be back. All right guys, we just threw our steak in with the sweated down veggies and we're gonna let this brown up with the garlic. I just added like a big scoop of garlic. You don't wanna put it too early because it will burn and it's bitter and then it's not good at all. So we're gonna let this start. I did turn my foodie off for a minute because the steak was taking a few minutes longer to cut up than I thought it was going to. So it's heating back up. I'm gonna start putting away a few things that I've used, but we're gonna let this brown up and then we're gonna get our cauliflower and some spinach and all of our seasonings. We're going to use some coconut aminos. We're going to use some organic rice wine vinegar and be, eat, be conscious of the sugars added because the really, the non-organic ones have a lot of sugar. And this is some gluten-free reduced soy uh, organic tamari sauce. That's really good. And a little bit of pure sesame oil right at the end. So that's what we got going on right now. I'm making a hot mess in the kitchen and it's late. It is like 10, 10. So I am needing to wrap this up because we have to go to bed early. So I am going to start cleaning up while I wait for the meat to start browning. And then I will meet you back in the foodie when we're ready to start adding our cauli rice and letting it stir fry, and then we are going to put our pressure lid on for about two minutes, like nothing more, with a little bit of chicken stock. And that is going to be, I am. I know it's kind of like a fried rice, but I'm not going to be putting any scrambled eggs in here, at least that's not my plan at this point. But you never know with me, the nose knows, that's how I cook. So, I'll see you back. Okay guys, I have added about a tablespoon of our coconut aminos, a, a cap full of our rice wine vinegar, a tablespoon of our tamari sauce, and a little bit of sesame oil. So this meat is almost cooked all the way through. So we're gonna go ahead and add our rice cauliflower. And then we'll get our chicken stock in here. But right now we're gonna just like let this rice cauliflower kind of hang out. And I'm gonna fire my dishwasher because she went to bed. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna get this all mixed in. So I think this is gonna look beautiful. Look at that. That's not deliciously gorgeous. So we're gonna let this cauliflower sweat down because it'll release some liquid and that'll help that Asian flavors that we've already got in there like you know kind of like come into like more of a sauce in there so you don't want to add a lot more liquid until you know how much it's gonna like release and then we'll add about a half a cup of chicken stock and put our pressure lid on just for like two minutes like it's literally quick as that we don't I like I don't like my rice cauliflower to be like like some people like it kind of how do you say it? Like with a crisp crunch, like with a crunch? No, I like mine to be soft like a cooked rice. So I'm gonna let this hang out, keep stirring it around, and I'll be back when it's time to go ahead and add our chicken stock and put our pressure lid on, and then we'll plate up and be done. Cause this girl needs to go to bed. You can see my red face, like yeah. It's time to go to bed. 
We get up at four in the morning around here. All right, guys, final stretch. Got some chicken stock. And look at all this goodness. I put a little bit of spinach in there. You know, who doesn't need a little fiber and some potassium and what have you in your diet on keto? I know I do. The meat is absolutely delicious. With all the seasonings that I told you I put in there, everything is awesome. You know, I did not, let's add some salt. because I didn't. There's some salt in this. But, look at this, travesty. We need to re-up on our salt. So we're gonna take, I'm eyeballing it, but I'm gonna say this is about a half a cup. It was not much left in here. So, that's that. We're going to take our lid. Ooh, wrong way, Tony. Get it together. And we're gonna get it on, lock it. We're gonna go to pressure, high, and we're literally like two minutes. Like, that's it. All right, guys. So, two minutes in the future. You'll see me back. Magic of YouTube. We are letting the air out. Well, okay guys, that is our stir fry and our breakfast bake and all the things and everything is put up and ready to go for tomorrow. And I have a sea of dishes, which my daughter's gonna wash for me. I'm so happy about that. Built in dishwasher. Yay, love that for us. All right, so if you're new here welcome if you've been here thank you for being my steady and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell and the like and all the things and do all the youtube things and as i say and i always mean with all my heart thank you so much